Welcome to this week's expert analysis here on NewOrleansSaints.com. I'm John DeShazer. We're sponsored by Microsoft Surface. And this is a special teams play from the Saints 45-35 victory over the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Now, at this point, we're in second quarter. The score is tied at 14, and the Rams are fourth and four from the Saints 16. So they're lined up for a field goal attempt. But the key characters to watch on this one right here is holder Johnny Hecker. He's a punter. And right here is Saints linebacker Craig Robertson. And here's a situation where the Rams are going to fake this field goal. They're in field goal position, obviously, and really feel like they might be able to punch in a touchdown because this is one of those games where it's going to be high scoring. So we're going to let it roll, and we will see Johnny Hecker take the snap right here. Stop it. And right now, all Saints are on the field goal attempt, as they should be. We have a crash on the corner. We have a holding right here. But because this is a fake, this turns out to be a block, and Craig Robertson is right here in the middle of this muck. And watch how he gets out of it once he notices and recognizes what's going on. We're going to let it run, and Hecker is gone right now, and here's Robertson making his move. Hecker only needs to get to about the 12-yard uh, line, and it looks like when he takes off, he's got it. But here's Craig Robertson right there with a great tackle to push Hecker out of bounds. Force him short of the line of gain, and the Saints take over on downs. They go on to score a touchdown after they take over on downs, go up 21 to 14. And this is a critical play in this game because really, basically, this play takes points off the board for the Rams. Either they're going to kick a field goal for three, or they're going to go in for a touchdown for seven. Instead, they end up with not a critical time in that situation because the Saints, in one of these games, there aren't a lot of stops to be had when you're talking about 45 to 35. So they're able to get a critical stop, and that really ends up turning the game in the Saints' favor. And that is an expert analysis from the Saints' special teams play in their Sunday victory. All right, now here we're going with a little bonus coverage here in the expert analysis. We got an offensive play for you, and of course, we're going to give you the signature play of the game. Saints lead 38-35, to third and seven from the own 28-yard line. But they need a first down to kind of milk the clock and per perhaps put the Rams in a little bit more precarious position here because, you know, with 4.02 left in the game and the way it's going offensively, you know the Rams are going to have another opportunity to score if they get the football. So the Saints probably want to run a little clock, but worst ca you know, best case scenario, you hit them for a big one and they hit them for the big one. So here's our alignment. Here are our guys. Drew Brees at quarterback. We've got Mark Ingram right here, Alvin Kamara in the slot, Michael Thomas, our guy right here out wide left. He's being chased by cornerback Marcus Peters of the Rams. On the other side, Austin Carr, he's going to also play a critical role, and Trayvon Smith. And why are we circling the guys opposite the football? Because they have to draw attention from Michael Thomas to be able to get in position to take advantage of that one-on-one -on -one coverage. So we're going to let it roll here a little bit. And of course, Alvin Kamara being the guy that he is. Now Mark Ingram's going to go in motion, but we're going to come back and stop it right here. This is critical. Alvin Kamara draws two defenders right here. Then we have Austin Carr, who pulls over John Johnson III, the Rams' safety, to draw a double coverage here. We've got Traquan Smith one-on-one -on -one here, but the actual guy right here, Michael Thomas, he's got leverage already on Marcus Peters, and watch what he does with that leverage. And look at Drew Brees. Now, and close, let's stop right here, too. Saints offensive line did a masterful job on Sunday. Drew Brees not sacked once against a formidable defensive line led by Aaron Donald, defensive tackle, who came in with 10 sacks, left with 10 sacks because he didn't get one against the Saints. So let's again let it go here. And look, Michael Thomas already got him beat. And stop it right here. Look how perfect the throw is. Marcus Peters is beat, but this has to drop in out of the bucket over his hand right to Michael Thomas. Let's let it go. Bam. You can't get better than that. Everybody plays their role. Michael Thomas has to beat that one guy one-on-one. -on -one. He beats him significantly. That's a 72-yard touchdown. That's a 45-35 Saints lead. That turns out to be the final margin of victory in this game. And that is your expert analysis from the Saints offensive play on Sunday's victory.